Yeah, man, what's up, I'm Purples? Welcome to the Black Hole. My name is Blessed Beats. The poll is always losing on this one, but I know there's a lot of people who want to know still how to do this, so this one is for you. Okay, you already know, right? A lot of people have been asking me, how do I get the tape on top of the reels instead of beneath it? How is the cow turn into a moose? and a few more other cool things. Well, let me tell you, if you subscribe to my channel, smash the like, take a tiny little envelope, take some $1,000 bills, fold them together, squeeze them into this envelope, send them to my address, I will help you out just how to do that. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> I'm joking you, you don't have to do that. I'm gonna show you today. What we're gonna need is a soldering iron, a staple gun, and a hammer and we're good to go again <laughs> i'm joking you again you don't need to do that it's not it's not really that bad the first thing actually you're going to need to do is install a python environment i'm not going to show you how to install a python environment not because it's so difficult that you cannot do it but because it's it takes a long time to explain it what i will tell you is if you google or go youtube here and search uh, for example, say my operating system right here, Windows 10, right? Am I right? Am I right? I will search install uh, Python 3.7, I think 3.7 is what I'm on. Environment Windows 10. If you had Mac, you would replace that for Mac instead. There's tons of videos and instructions on how to do it. Don't be intimidated by it. It's pretty easy to install, actually. Once you have a Python environment installed on your computer, you should be able to use a command prompt like this and write pip3 install op1 repacker and it should install it. Then what you're going to want to do is head over to GitHub repository op1 hacks. You can find some documentation on research on the op1 firmware and hardware, the op1 repacker, which we're going to be using today, an archive of almost all op1 firmware versions op1 svg this is if you want to get a little bit more complicated and make your own svg graphics to import into the op1 and replace certain graphics in there a handy little preset tool op your op1's best bud i haven't tried that out there's some real shit right here a couple of people contributing to this here tabasco i from heidelberg germany shout out to you and richard lewis I think there's been more people involved in this. This is a great resource. I'll put the link to this page here and also to the, to the OP1 forums, which helped me out a lot. Then what you're gonna wanna do, download the latest firmware from the OP1 hacks repository. Put it somewhere convenient, not too many folders deep, like C OP1, for example. Go to the folder in the command prompt and unpack the firmware and check them around observationalize what happens here what happens first is i don't include the file extension and nothing happens but let's do it again op1 repacker unpack op1 blah 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 dot op1 now it works fine done we got us a new folder with the firmware extracted and we can triple check by analyzing this using the analyze function right here and it's looking good now let's take a look see at the documentation all of these are the mods that are available. Eater, a hidden synth. Also, some presets to go along with it. And don't forget to enable this for the custom graphics. A whoa, 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 a motherfucking filter. I like this filter because it's more like a traditional filter. No fuss, just a bunch of different pole and notch settings on it. Then we got the subtle effects option right here. It's supposed to lower the intensity of the effects when you switch them so you don't get these drastic changes. I don't notice a difference. The self-explanatory tape invert option. Very nice. And finally, but most importantly, swap the cow and the CWO effect with a moose because why not? To enable these mods, we're gonna take the firmware that we just unpacked with the unpacker tool, and then we're going to activate them one by one. So just write all the options in a row that you want to activate. You can choose which ones you want to activate or not. Everything comes out fine. Now, Repack it and it spits out this new file. Connect your OP1 to the USP and start it up in boot mode by holding COM as you power it up. And select the upload firmware. I don't know if you need to do it, but I moved this file to another place so I could just rename it to the, to the original file name. 
And if you did everything right with the USP, it should show up with nothing on it. You shouldn't see album and tape and all of that. Just an empty drive right here. You can scoot the new firmware where you can scoot the new firmware file right on over to it and copy it, paste it, and then you can eject it from the computer. Now that you booted her up, check her out. It's right there. The tape is on top. What is great about having the tape on top instead of below is from a lot of angles, you will not be seeing the tape when you splice it. It's enough that you have it on your lap and you might not be able to see it. So when you put it on top instead, it's much easier to operate it. You know what I'm saying? That is the main advantage I think of this. All the credit here goes out to the geeks who took their time to figure out this Rubik's Cube, if you will. I would not have had the patience to do it, so thank you to all of the dedicated, hardworking people figuring stuff like this out so we can enjoy another geek aspect of it without putting too much effort in it ourselves, you know what I'm saying? If you want to contribute to it, you should go check them out as well. Amazing. All right, that is it for today, I guess. I want to give a special thank you to my patrons supporting me, keeping me going with this here channel right about around here. You should also join us in the Discord, The Black Hole, for weekly beat challenges and lots of good purples. Okay, bye-bye.